Welcome back, my tasty beer nuts, and thanks for joining me. Sorry about Sunday. Um, we had a funeral on the weekend, so I was in no mood to uh, be doing a video. Um, but today, I'm back. Um, we also went to the States on the weekend and picked up a few beers from there. Uh, if you were following me on Instagram, you saw those. So I've decided to go with the pretty colored one. So this is uh, Omnipolo and collabed with in the States, where is it, Dorchester Brewing, out of Boston. Uh, so I guess they're producing it for Omnipolo um, on this side of the ocean. And it's called Fata Morgana. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, when I look on Instagram, there's a lot of hype around this one. It is a Imperial India Pale Ale, brewed with not only with um, barley, but with, also with wheat. So we'll see what that's like. Um, some of the comments though were that uh, there's actually like floaties in this, um, but it is unfiltered. So that's sort of to be expected, but I don't know if I want necessarily floaties in my beer, like a little haze and whatnot, that's fine. Um, it's still really cold from the fridge. So that's why I've had it out for a bit, but it's still cold and uh, sweating apparently. Um, Let's see what the Americans have to give us, slash Swedish, because Omnipolo is uh, Sweden, from Sweden. Um, see, I, I'm wearing my Canadian pride, considering I'm reviewing American beer. Uh, all right, hopefully no floaties. So far so good, just a hazy color, um, kind of a golden color, nice head on it as well. I'll maybe pour that a little too aggressively. I feel like I can smell the citrus already in here. So that's just a nice uh, kind of golden hazy color. Yeah, tropical fruit, pineapple, citrus, uh, very strong. Uh, quite nice on the nose. It's an IPA, so we'll see how how much is going to smack me in the face. There's no mention of IBUs on here. Uh, they just say 8% by, vol uh, by volume for alcohol content. All right. Let's see if this it's a really nice nose on it. That's a nice IPA. Um, which is the one that I had? I had a white water um, Astrolab. Is feels very similar to this. Uh, this one might be a little sweeter versus the other one a little hoppier. Um, but that's not bad. And those same tropical fruit that are on the nose are strong in the actual uh, uh, in the beer. Definitely a nice summer beer, very um, refreshing, even though it's still a bolder beer with those the high kind of hoppiness to it. Although the bitterness isn't hitting me too hard in the back of the, the mouth. I'm really getting the, like, the bitterness from the fruit. Yeah, this is highly drinkable. Um, this little can cost me $4.99. Probably if you actually get it from... Uh, the brewery, it would be cheaper than that. And that's $4.99 American. Um, actually, no, I think it was actually $5.99. I think I got jipped at the store. Uh, <laughs> but luckily, I won't hold it against them. It was a little cute little shop in Watertown. Uh, Bottle Cap Central, I think it was called. It's right off of Arsenal Street if you're in Watertown. Um, they have a couple, not a couple, quite a few different beers uh, from American breweries. Um, I kind of kept with the the east, northeast coast. Um, if you, it's, they're all up on my Instagram. You can have a look there. Um, yeah, so if you're ever down there, stop in. The, the little there's an older lady um, manning the uh, the store, and she was quite adorable. They have like four or five taps that you can actually try, and if you bring in your growler, you can you can fill up your growler. 
uh, or there's a few growlers there to, to purchase as well. So I got to try one of them and as I was checking out at the cash, she's like, are you sure you don't want another one? I'm like, you can have another one. Uh, so she was very sweet uh, and I think was just happy to talk to someone really. Uh, so if you stop in there, uh, if you're in Watertown, yeah, give it a check. Check it out. Uh, that's all I've got for today. Short video. Um, no festivals for me this weekend. Check. There are some tickets up for grabs for Festivier. I've put the link in um, on my Facebook page. So the Canadian Beer Girl on Facebook. Find me there and then you'll see the link to the, the contest. Um, and there's also contests going on for the Orleans um, Craft Beer Festival. So you can look them up on Facebook and get some free tickets there possibly. So that's it. I'm going to go finish this. Uh, hope you have a great week and I will see you on Sunday. Cheers.